Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Oh yeah, that's right. And good evening, everybody. We're going to start off tonight with a really cool picture that comes to us from Dan Hassett and he calls a spiritual heaven. I don't know if it took this up in this last week or so, but I, I think I see snow on the ground there and snow in some of the trees must have been up in the mountains, obviously, or it could have been an older picture, but still a very pretty picture. And thanks for sending that in, Dan. And I kind of like this one from Kathy Stedman. He says, she says it's, it's fall pumpkin harvest time. Uh, this particular pumpkin weighs 91 pounds. Whoa, that is the greatest pumpkin I've seen so far. We'll see if we get a greater pumpkin before the, the season's over with. Right. Now, here's the way things are shaping up in Billings. Right now, we have 59 degrees, so yeah, we've cooled down. You got to remember, we actually warmed up today all the way up to 92 degrees for your high temperature. So we've dropped well th over 30 degrees tonight, and we're even dropping farther. 69 is your average high for this time of year. The record was 90. The old record was 90, set back in 1938. That was in the Depression. FDR was president back then. And you'll notice here, uh, the low was 22, set back in 1984. I think Reagan was president then. But meanwhile, uh, 707 is when our sunset tonight, and as you'll see here, our current precipitation totals are they're not very good. We're about half a uh, half an inch for the month. We need to be at over an inch and for the year we're 1028 and need to be over 11 inches to be caught up to average. Now our current temps tonight have cooled back down into the 50s just about everywhere across western Montana. Even here in Billings we're at 59 but we still have some 60s back here in the extreme eastern edge of the state because we had a cold front push in from the west today and so these guys got the cold there last in the day so they're a little bit cool, a little bit slower to cool down. But look at our reported highs today. Look at all these. These are the records for the day. Billings, whose record was 90. 93 was the record of Miles City. 93 also over at a place like Jordan. 91 at Glendive. 90 at Sheridan. Now let me show you what our reported highs were today. Yeah, all these places where we have stars, these are brand new record high temperatures. Billings, Miles City, Sheridan, and Warland, Wyoming all had new record high temperatures out in the west. They didn't come even close, generally into the 60s and 70s out there today. But the big news is, is the windy conditions starting to blow most of the smoke away from our area. So by the time the weekend gets here, we're looking at generally clearing skies. The smoke, even that's the fires in Idaho, are going to be blowing. The wind's going to come out of the north. So it's going to be blowing that stuff away from Montana. So not much of an issue. But tonight, we still have a little bit of a southwesterly flow of air. It's taking these showers and blowing them in towards Idaho, and I should say in towards North Dakota, away from Idaho and Montana. And what we do see here is more scattered rain showers moving on shore in Washington and Oregon. I think these will probably take the high road and not going to be much of an issue for us. What we will see is those showers will probably follow this cold front here. You'll see some scattered rain showers up in the northwest corner of the state tomorrow. You'll see Friday morning mostly sunny skies for the Billings area. And then here comes your next storm moving in. We think just about the time you'd warm up. Here comes another system just in time for the weekend. Snow in the mountains, rain down the foothills, and even Billings could see some spotty showers on Saturday morning. By Saturday afternoon, we're talking mostly sunny skies and on in the sun. Sunday, the same thing. Tonight we cool back down to 39 degrees at White Sulphur Springs, 45 at Harleton, 44 over in Livingston. You'll see 49 at Red Lodge and 40s and 50s elsewhere tonight. Then for tomorrow, we're back to the 60s, 70s, no 80s or 90s, but still look for partly cloudy skies and possibly even some showers by 8 o'clock tomorrow night in the Billings area. But tonight we cool back down to 51 with a slight 20% chance of rain. Next seven days looks like this. We'll wind up with maybe 73 degrees for your high on Friday with mostly sunny skies. Slight chance of rain on Saturday. The cold front moves in, cools us down to the 60s, 67 for a high then. On Sunday, 64 degrees with a 20% chance of rain. Then after that, 76 on Monday, 69 on Tuesday, 68 Wednesday, sunny and 72 degrees on Thursday. So once we get to the next week, expect dry conditions and well, typical temperatures for this time of year. Let's go back to Russ.